Oh, it's hot. It's supposed to be 108 today. Um, we have a lot to do. So let's take a look at our calendar here. I just drew this as a visual aid. As you can see, I don't know if it shows up real well with a little glare, but that's today. I have to have the barbecue finished by that day. I have to, we are leaving by this day, which means the trailer actually should be finished by this day so that I can take it to the DMV and get it registered. So we've got a lot to do for just those two projects. And on top of that, I have another project that's coming. I'm getting the materials in later, probably to tomorrow. It probably won't show up today, but I have materials showing up tomorrow for not just the barbecue, but also for a conference table base for another client that has to be finished, and it probably will have to be finished this week. So, to give you an idea, that right there is how far we are on the trailer. Uh, I haven't touched it, not since, not since I've got the drop axle built. That right there, that's what we got done on the barbecue. So we've got a lot to do, and uh, today we're going to be working on the barbecue, and probably that's it. So, uh, let's get started.
steel delivery came. I wasn't expecting it today. I figured it would show up tomorrow. I uh, think I'm done for today. Uh, I, I, or at least I should be. I, I don't know. If I may stay out here for a little while anyway, but uh, I've, uh, I've screwed up enough. It's hot. I, all ago it said it was 106. What's it say it is now? Oh, it went down. 105. I don't know what it is in the garage. I should get a thermometer, but kind of don't want to know. Um, but I screwed up. The uh, So we've got the base tacked together. And I've got these little uh, tabs. These are just little sections of 3-inch uh, angle iron. And they're just basically the base. You set it where you want it, and then you set this on the base. And then what I was doing was I was going to weld this piece of, uh, this is 2 inch by 2 inch by 8 inch thick. It's not real heavy stuff, but it's certainly heavy enough for this. Uh, all the way around the top of the, the barbecue. And that's in case you want to set the entire piece. Ooh, that's in case you want to set the entire thing in a uh, countertop uh, or a masonry uh, base or something like that. So you don't, you know, if you don't want to use the the steel base, you can set it on there. But, <laughs> you know, measure twice, cut three times, divide by four, I don't know what it is, but so anyway, this is, uh, you know, that sort of meets there, but over there, it's, looks like it's two inches short. So apparently what I did was I measured to the wrong, uh, I measured the angle wrong, and then I, I, I screwed up. So anyway, um, like I said, I think that's it for today. I'm gonna, uh, at least for recording, I'm gonna, I may putter around here for a little while. Little while. I still have, uh, I still have some stuff I can do to this, uh, like the base. I can actually uh, maybe start welding it up. I can uh, cut the pieces to cap the legs. You know, I want to cap the top and the bottom, and. Uh, and oh, and I also have the little upright pieces for the for the barbecue. So there's a few things I can do, um, but uh, I might I might see if it'll cool down a little before I start up again. So till next time, bye.